Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today's video is um, my June budget for June 15th. It is 5.56 a.m. so I have already checked my budget, um, or excuse me, I've already checked my paycheck. Um, so I know how much has um, been deposited and how much um, has gone to each account. So I did go online and I was able to go ahead and change my deposit amounts um, into my Bank of America and my Capital One. Um, Bank of America requires a minimum of 250 um, a month. Um, so I was getting for 400 a paycheck, um, but I dropped that down to 300. So to get into this, uh, or excuse me, before I get into this um, a little bit further, um, for those of you that are returning, thank you for returning. As you know, um, I try my best and I give you guys what my real numbers are, my real struggles, um, everything like that. For those of you that are just checking in, um, a little disclaimer, um, this is my budget, my, I am married, um, but you will never see rent on here, um, and that's because my husband takes care of the rent portion, I take care of beauty, garbage, our car insurance, um, food, and um, my bills, my credit cards and whatnot. Uh, my student loans and then my other money so when um, when I started this I wanted this to be accountable and so this month was um, a new way to try and do a full June budget like you see here as well as doing my bi-weekly budgets. This, of course, will actually be updated at the end of the month. Um, I put 105 because that's what I paid. Um, as you can see, I actually updated this here with the actual amount of 1226.06. So I had estimated 1025. I got an extra $200 basically. So you guys know what's going on. Um, for starters, um, was it Thursday? No, it was Wednesday. Wednesday, I went into the walking clinic. I had a really bad earache. It turns out I had a, I have a middle or inner ear infection. I also have a really bad toothache. So I have I got my medications for my earache, my ear infection. And Wednesday, I have a dentist appointment. Now, with that being said, we are in the middle of moving. We just spent Wednesday and Thursday, and we moved. We have a Jeep Patriot, and we put everything that we could in the back portion of our Jeep Patriot. We took five trips to our storage unit. We still have a ton of stuff to move. Um... So, and we, our official moving day is going to be Wednesday the 20th, which is, happens to be the day that I have my dentist, dentist appointment on. So, um, it's been a little bit crazy. So, um, this budget and next month's budget is going to change a, drastically because one, um, actually June, July, August will be completely different. Um, because in August I will not have PUD and I will not have garbage. We also changed our insurance company. Um, so June was supposed to be the last month of our Geico. We have switched to a different, um, different company. We got, basically Geico was charging us about a thousand, over a thousand dollars for every six months for two vehicles two vehicles one that's paid off a 2010 chevy aveo and a brand new 2016 g patriot um so it just kept going up and up and up and we're like no there's we got to be paying less than this basically i just i 
yeah. Anyway, so I changed some of that. Um, so let me go ahead and get into this week's budget. Um, so as you can see, I ended up putting my account balances as of, um, uh, before I got, before midnight, I had 90 cents in my Bank of America. I had 756. I didn't realize I had $7 in there, but I had 756 in my capital one, 21 cents in my emergency fund. Now I ended up going to bingo last week like the six or whatever it was. And I used my emergency fund money, which was only like $80, um, in addition to go play bingo. So I'm starting out, um, as you know, I usually, what I normally do is, so if my minimum payment is $37 on a, on a card, I pay 40. I am not doing that right now. Um, I want to get my emergency fund fully, full, fully funded to the $1,000. So, the only one, the, or well, okay, I have one credit card and one student loan, no, two student loans that I am rounding up on. So, my Navia and my Avant are the two student loans I'm rounding up on, um, which Navia is only like $4 and the other ones I think $4 too. Um, and then the other one I'm going to do is my Torrid, which it's a $27 minimum. I'm going to do 30. And the only reason why I'm doing that one is because that is my smallest debt right now, as far as my credit cards go. Um, and because I want to get my emergency funded. I am not paying 150 on my car care one anymore. I'm just doing a hundred a paycheck. Um, I've been keeping track. I'm only, um, filling up three to four times a month, um, which is about a hundred dollars. So basically, um, 40 of it is actually going towards the actual principal, um, from the past principles. Um, because I'm getting charged about $60 in interest on it right now. So, um, but I also have changed it. So before I was keeping track of my phone, I wasn't. So I'm now doing that again. Um, and then of course the USCI, I was doing that to a credit card. I'm not doing that anymore. Um, so it was kind of, I realized that I am messing up. And I'm not taking into account everything. So my Hulu is on hold. Um, my husband pays for Netflix. So, um, so as you can see, we have insurance now. We paid the full six months up front. However, I still want to put in enough to cover the next six months. So. I'm paying 125 this paycheck and then every paycheck afterwards I'm doing $65. Um, so I figure that will kind of help. Um, it will be a constant one. I have a savings account in my bank and or not Bank of America, but my capital one, a separate savings that I am going to put that money into. Um, once everything kind of gets, um, sorted out so come August um there's two things gonna be um two more things that are gonna happen one I'm gonna have 35 extra dollars a month um because one of my loans will be, be paid off two um I just went and got my license my badge renewed for work so the next three paychecks um not this one but the 29th and then all of them in July are going to have about $66, $67 deducted about it for, from them to cover that, that fee that I had for my batch because it's $188 and I can have it auto deducted. So my paychecks are going to fluctuate quite a bit now because I am also a dual rate. So if you haven't watched my planning, 
um, I would go ahead and check my last one and I will go ahead and also card it up above um, that way you guys can take a look at it but um, basically now I'm a dual rate I get I'm a dealer and I'm also a supervisor but my supervisor rate is 19 bucks an hour my dealer rate it's minimum which um, is 1150 plus 15 cents for me knowing roulette so I get 1165 plus tips and our tips are like they haven't been like less than 850 since I've been there and I will be there three years come the third of July um, and we've had them as high as ten dollars so on average they're about 950 um, and I think this last one was, or this paycheck was 956, I think. So based on that, I get paid more as a dealer than a supervisor, but I took this as an opportunity. Um, I'm okay with the decrease in pay because it's only going to be maybe one day a week right now, um, or just a couple hours a week that I'm going to be doing that supervisor one. So it's not too much of a pay cut. Um, and in the long run, I'm going to feel better about it anyways because it's for some medical issues I'm having. So that's kind of what I'm doing um, this paycheck. So get to get back to the um, budget here. Sorry, guys. I am so rambling on right now. Anyways, I think it's my meds. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so Navient, I'm going to pay 200 insurance. I'm going to transfer that into savings for 125. My first premier, I'm going to pay 37. Woman within 25, toward is 30. Straight talk will be 49.53. That is how much it is. Um, food is 150. I was kind of going back and forth on like 200, 150. Um, so we're just going to stick with 150. My fun money is going to be a hundred. So that kind of covers like planning supplies, anything I want to do, um, which isn't going to be a whole lot. Um, care car when this is my gas card, like I said, um, and then USCI is going to be 79 and then savings that leaves me with 330 53, which I'm probably just going to transfer over the 330 and not worry about the change. So that is what this one is. Now, to kind of give you guys an idea. Alright guys, sorry about the little break there. Um, I realized I messed up on my, my um, balances here. Um, so, um, this page here... Um, so, this is kind of an idea what I have for the next three paychecks coming on. Um, so, I have my food, my fun money, my care car one, which has a balance right now. Of this, is, These are kind of my balances right now. Um, so, this was just an estimate just showing what the minimum payments were. Um, as you can see, this was 27. I'm going to pay 30 on it. So, come the 29th. Um, I'm going to have the same. Our garbage right now has a balance because I paid $25 last month. Um, it has a balance of $17.88 right now. Um, so our PUD and our garbage, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go down. Um, because we are moving and we'll be out um, by the end of this month. And I know that on the first, about the first is when PUD comes out with our bill. So, um, I'm interested in seeing how much that's going to be this month. And then of course I have my Indigo and my first Premier 2, um, and my other student loan here. So, oh, and then e insurance. Um, I know I put 125 this paycheck. But next paycheck will be 65 and the following will be 65. Um, I was gonna do basically about basically about the same time as our Geico was due, but I decided not to do that. So 
Um, and then you can see on the 13th, ah, I forgot a bill. So, I know that's due on the 13th. Hmm. So, I know I have a bill due the 13th, but I'm going to put it up here. And it's usually been $40. So, I'm just going to go 63 on this one. I hate that. 963.88. I mean, I probably have enough to do it on this one, but I'm not going to worry about it. So, that's what I'm kind of seeing. And if I estimate my paycheck I know I have it over in my main June budget as 1025 but um, if I estimate it at 1120 per paycheck then I'm looking at roughly um, 157 to go to savings on this one to the emergency fund and this one here Uh, I'm estimating 55 so 330 plus 157 actually that will probably get yeah I don't know plus 55 so I'm looking to have about 542 come the end of July um, and then, of course, I won't have these two. So, that'll be an extra, like, 125 a month that I can um, add to that. So, that's kind of what um, my, neck, my budget is kind of looking like. And I do this, guys. Um, I kind of wanted to show you what I do um, when I'm thinking about my minimum payments. Um, and when I want to pay things. Um, I do this so that I can kind of take a look and say, oh yeah, I have this coming up. So am I going to need to basically, am I going to need to pay some things earlier? And doing this emergency fund will allow me to kind of take care of those things. Now I don't have my medical in here. Um, I wanted to start paying on some of that. And... Um, which I might do still at the end of the month. Um, and that, you know, last paycheck of the month will probably end up going to that. Um, but until things kind of settle down and come August is probably when I'm going to pay more attention to it and um, get things paid off a little better. So, alright guys, I am so sorry this kind of lost a whole lot longer than what I originally planned for. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm brutally honest with you guys because you guys are holding me accountable by me uploading this. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment down below. Alright guys, well, have a wonderful, happy Friday. And for all those fathers out there and soon-to-be fathers, happy Father's Day on Sunday. Enjoy and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.